especially on the job in St. Tammany Parish, but local and state leaders are really pushing for him to step down. Yeah, a North Shore delegation sent a letter to the parish president Sunday to get him to step down from the position. Parish officials say voters were not made aware of Christopher Tape's history of sexual assault allegations. WDSC report on taking towards us live with how Tay plans on leading the department. But first, um, we had some uh, law enforcement presence there late last night into this morning at the coroner's office. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, Daryl, when we arrived here around uh, 430 in the morning, there was a uh, heavy police presence here at the coroner's office. We're told that they were investigating a sus suspicious package inside of the building, but all is clear now. Now, Christopher Tape says he's looking to change how and who completes forensic medical exams. For some background, leaders are calling for Tape to step down after learning he was accused of sexual abuse of a minor more than 20 years ago. Something kept from voting. Now, in his new role, Tate plans to have local hospitals to do those forensic exams, and he says he plans to do away with the sexual assault nurse examination program, also known as SANE. He claims patients won't be affected and that these exams are always done at hospitals. Now, Dr. Charles Preston says the parish already provides the best care, and that shouldn't be altered. It is best practice and has been best practice for a number of years to utilize sane nurses to do these examinations. Uh, I think it's, again, bad management to just cut it off midnight Sunday and now all the hospitals are trying to scurry around and decide how to, to pick up the void. Now, again, this is Tape's first day on the job. If he does not resign, a recall petition is expected. But for now, we're reporting live at the coroner's office. Anam Siddiqui, WDSU News. And um, thank you. Also in St. Tammany Parish tonight, there is a Library Board of Control meeting.